two consultants, Donald and Hillary, worked on a particular task. It took them four days to finish. On a similar task, two of them only worked together for the first 48 hours. Then Donald got upset and left work. It took Hillary another week to complete. Now, if Hillary was to do the task alone for 72 hours and then leave it for Donald to complete on his own, how long would it take Donald? Hi, my name is Kim Tran. I'm a former McKinsey consultant and the founder of the platform Management Consulting Prep. Today, let's continue the PST prep question type video series with an interesting one, word problems. Why is it interesting? Well, we've all been working with word problems for decades now, whether as elementary school students or consultants on Wall Street. The context and the stakes can change, but the principles behind them are no different. In its most basic definition, a word problem is any math problem where the data are represented in words rather than mathematical notations. This definition covers super straightforward questions like, Michelle has one cat. Malia and Sasha share two puppies. How many pets does the family have? But when we talk about word problems in the context of the McKinsey PST, we refer to a more complicated form. Not only is it business related, but it also requires you to set up equations with unknowns and solve for the result. Take a look at the interesting problem in the case opening. It's impossible to solve without setting up an equation with unknowns. Actually, why don't you try it for real? Here's the problem again. Two minutes. Let's go. Okay, time is up. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. At the first stage of studying, there's nothing wrong with needing extra time to learn the how part. Now let's dig into it. I'm gonna give you the ultimate guide to solving all word problems out there, using this as an example. So here are the three steps. Step one, if needed, convert data and facts into manageable and standardized formats and units. Some problems are not that hard, but it's just a complicated unit system that makes them look difficult. If we get this out of the way, many word problems instantly become easy. We'll touch on one of those later in this video. For the Donald and Hillary problem, let's convert the time unit. We have three options of hours, days, and weeks. Days seems like a good unit. 
we'll have to work with neither small fractions nor big numbers, so after the conversion, all the data will look like this. Step 2. Set up an equation with one or more unknown variables. One very important tip here is that you don't have to make the final answer your unknown variables. Sometimes it works out, that sometimes doing just so makes the problem unnecessarily complicated. Just pick the unknown variables in a way that makes the equation easy to chew. In the end, we'll just need a simple calculation to get the final answer, but applying this tip will save you a ton of time and effort. For this example, if we pick the final answer as the unknown variable, aka the number of days it would take Donald alone to finish the task after Hillary has been working on it for 24 hours, the problem will be so, so difficult I can't even set up that equation. But if we tweak it a little bit, the problem is way easier. Let's call D and H the working speed of Donald and Hillary, measured by the fraction of the task completed by each in one day. So we know that speed multiplied by time equals result. Or in other words, using the same logic, we also have step three, solve it correctly as fast as possible. We have two equations with two unknown variables and theoretically, we should be able to solve it. To do so, we simplify the equation to this. Keep working downward, we have 2d equals 5h, or d equals 2.5h. Plugging this into the original equation, we have 3.5h times 4 equals 1, or 14h equals 1. Solving for h, we have h equals 1 14th. Solving for d, we have d equals 1 over 5.6. Now that we have h and d, a few simple calculations can get us the final variables asked by the question. Specifically for 72 hours, or 3 days, Hillary did 3 fourteenths of the task, leaving 11 fourteenths for Donald to finish. The time it would take Donald is 11 over 14 divided by 1 over 5.6. We get 4.4 days. Remember that there are two phases in a perfect PST studying process. The first phase is to be able to solve each and every question correctly without time pressure. The goal of this is to understand the principal foundation, which is why we break the test down into various question types. Of course, we will go over many other techniques, tips, and shortcuts to raise your speed. But that's in the second phase. For now, let's focus on the foundation. With that said, are you ready to try an even harder word problem? Give yourself two minutes and try this one. Please leave a comment below with your result, your equations, and your speed as well. The answer key is on our website, www.mconsultingprep.com. For even more free exercises on word problems, please refer to our website as well. If you have any questions regarding word problems, feel free to leave a comment below too. At Management Consulting Prep, we believe everybody can make it to consulting. Are you a believer?